Yeah, I got my severe. <laughs> I'm starting to look like a shark. All right. All right, everybody. Now, I'm start off by saying hello to everybody out there. I'm swimming around the tank again. So. <laughs> And if y'all saw what the name of the video is, uh, yeah, we do have a hell in a handbasket. We've got a guy out there in North Korea that basically is a child. That Kim fella, he's a 22 year old baby and he thinks all of the missiles he thinks all of uh, his military and he thinks all of his uh, goons are uh, you know come out of a toy box This is the reason why his, uh, I guess his, uh, kid brother, I'm not sure how, what the relation with, this is the reason why his uncle were both killed. Because he didn't want anybody else, uh, that could take over his regime and we've half of the world is ready to literally nuke his existence off the face of the planet and we all need to get him I mean, someone needs to come up with something I don't care if it's our president or someone else's. But we need to take care of him before he ends up uh, blowing the world sky high. I mean, there was a, a game out there called Homefront that basically... If you played through it, it uh, will show you what would have happened if uh, Hillary would have become president. She would be like, so what? And North Korea would take over the planet and uh, we would have a, uh, what they call a Red Dawn situation. The world and uh, that Kim's uh, in his mind belongs to him. And we're just in his little toy box. Well, if y'all have any comments about uh, what I'm saying, hey, bring them on. Bring them on. Just remember, keep it clean. Now, I'm just saying that uh, <coughs> over the last multiple years, we have had people that have been absolutely think that they are in a television world. And what do they do? I'm going to take over the world. I'm going to rule the world. Well, the last three to be paying the backsides, uh, and you had. Uh, C. 
Saddam Hussein, who basically tried to take over the oil over there in Saudi Arabia and Kuwait. You had that Kafidi guy, or Qaddafi, excuse me. And no one could figure out how to spell his name right. <clears throat> I mean, you gotta realize one thing. Oh, <clears throat> and, you, and the big old fish, Osama bin Laden, which tried to destroy America with his, uh, sending his goons to get on those planes. And every year we mourn those people. I mean, yes, they, and those people who uh, died in Pennsylvania, they did, uh, Thank goodness they went in the action even though it they they perished. I mean, those people are heroes because can you imagine what would have happened if they just sat there? I mean, the, I mean, <clears throat> the let's roll thing, I mean, we've got a buttload of angels, and uh, it's just sad that uh, you have a buttload of idiots out there that want to basically take over the planet. And it seems like every time you cut the head off of a snake, it seems like you got another one that uh, pops up. So, what y'all guys thinking about all this? So, I know, I know y'all fans are out there, so, uh, say hello! Uh, I had to say all that because, hey, and once again, I will say this. Ready, you like him? Ready, you don't. America, you voted for Donald Trump. He's our president. The you got Hillary Clinton, which give me a break. She going around with this stupid little book. What happened? Well, as I was thinking to myself, there's only two words that you need to put in the book, and she doesn't get it. And those two words are, Hillary, you lost. Get over it. Go home. I mean, America doesn't uh, need someone who is whiny <clears throat> in there. 
she, she can't even stand she can't even stand up without her uh, assistance helping her now I'll say this again while the ca campaign was going on someone got a hold of Trump's uh, schedule they got a hold of Hillary's schedule now who you think was Hello, bad boy. Yep, psycho men. But the thing is, uh, while uh, the person, another YouTuber, has shown that uh, while Trump was working his butt off and he was at everything that had his name on it where was Hillary I mean last couple of pictures I've seen of her she looks like she hasn't been asleep in weeks. And the supposed thing about the uh, three o'clock phone call, our current president would be up at that time because Trump does not stop. He will not go to bed until he's satisfied America is safe. What will Hillary do? Good night. Even her husband was like during during the uh uh bleh. during the uh convention he was sitting there going and everybody kept saying uh, pretty much good night Bill <laughs> and the thing is she can't she could not even uh, deal with the loss what'd she do She took a uh, the ball of alcohol she had and started chasing her own people. And not only that, Bill ended up with a stake over his eye because she bat the crap out of him. I mean, she. I mean, and yeah, we found out. Yeah, she started off wearing pantsuits, but what ended up happening? Now she is wearing bell bell dresses. Hmm, I wonder why. Because the same uh, YouTuber, and I have no idea who it was, even uh, let you know, Hillary Clinton wears, <coughs> depends, to have the, the little area where uh, she can have a catheter right through it.
And when she started having that coughing fit, hmm, and tried to say it was Trump that was making her cough. No. What was what it was is she was trying to hide that she was sick. Honestly. Even uh, during the election, I do believe you had someone that got uh, absolutely uh, messed up. Now, I'm not sure what kind of a president, if he would have made it, Bernie Sanders would have been. But uh, there are some people that uh, I honestly thought would have been good presidents, but because of their oops they decide they they were messed they messed themselves up person one met Romney now I'm not sure what kind of honest president he could be in but he uh He basically, uh, got caught saying, my money's, my money and my friends are more uh, important than you. <sighs> John McCain. He decided to uh, get a pain in the butt woman who basically <laughs> dumb in the head and literally expected all the clothes and all the uh, And everything that they were uh, letting her wear and all that, she expected it to literally be hers. And then she tried to flip the ticket. I mean, where is she? Even even uh, Fox News doesn't even want her anywhere near the main studio. Where is she? She's in Alaska. And they even set up a uh, studio in her house. Uh, and half the time you were trying to listen to her, she was like, what in the world are you talking about? I mean, yeah, she started off talking like she was ser being serious. And then it was like, talk about Mama Bear and all this stuff. I mean, even talking about lipstick on a pig. Uh, only thing I gotta say is, Sarah, bye. And even during the campaign, uh, they would not, her, uh, her half dead kid 
Now I understand that her youngins had had problems. But you kept shoving him in everybody's face. You kept shoving him in everybody's face. I mean, McCain was up there and what'd you do? He picked up your kid. Look, look at my kid, look at my kid, look at my kid. Sarah, we don't give a, you know what, about your kid. I mean, we hope your kid gets help for the long path ahead. But we don't need somebody who was that dumb being the vice president. And yeah, and back in 2000, whew, W did not win. Now I make this very clear. Sometimes the best person running for that office could be a Republican. Sometimes the best one is Democrat. And sometimes the uh, best person for the job could be an independent or a uh, a new party that's jumped in there. I mean, and you do have a buttload of people who are from Hollywood that want to jump in there. But you got a person, say for instance, The Rock, wanting to and he's already said, you know, if I get the job, I would have to do, I would have to do my homework because people uh, said, you can get there, but when you get there, you're gonna be like, what, what in the world? did I get myself into? Our current president is kind of uh, figuring it out right now. And with the infighting between both parties, it's kind of hard to uh, get anything done. I mean, shoot. Trump doesn't even have half of his cabinet in. Because that's put to the wayside. Because, hey, who, who knows what he's, he's thinking in there. But I bet you, with the, the two hurricanes that have come through, and God bless those people in Texas. God bless them people in Florida. Because they've got a mess to clean up. I mean, a mess. But they honestly need as much help as you can. And I bet you, when he saw the mess, our president was like, Uh, he even his heart was probably uh, crying because I mean you got another one out there named Jose but he looks like he's just going to do a loop-de-loop -loop 
but he has also been going, looks like he's going to go to Washington, uh, D.C., and up on that side. I mean, there's a buttload of people who passed away and all that. What? Uh, dirty carrot? No. This is a clean channel. But like I said, do y'all like uh, you like the comments and stuff? And remember this, I'll do one, <clears throat> a video every Friday so y'all can uh, have a little bit of uh, the shark. But I'm just saying that uh, people just need to realize this world is going to hell in a handbasket. If we do not start No, it's just because I hadn't cut my hair or beard. <laughs> hey, if I was homeless, you think I would be doing this? But I'm not joking around. You got a lot of people that want also want to make up uh, stories and make up uh, things. Uh, Dairy Carrot, I'm at my house. <laughs> hey, that's just the way my room set up. You better watch out, make an earthquake. Everybody's different with the way their room looks. <sighs> hey, if I get anybody cut from them, they're gonna uh, they're gonna arrest you for uh, uh false pre-senses, buddy. Well, that's my little uh, rent on that thing, so if y'all want to continue to watch my videos when they come out, hey, hit the subscribe button. And until the next, next time, we'll see you from the Shark Tank. This is Mr. Game Shark. Adios, amigos.